Hi everyone, welcome to this video on getting started with the accordion component of Syncfusion in a Blazor server application. In this video, I will explain how to create a Blazor application and add the Syncfusion Blazor package. Then I will show you how to add the Syncfusion Blazor accordion component to a Blazor server application. After creating the accordion, I will explain the prominent features like expand modes, and how to customize the accordion UI using templates. Now, I will create a Blazor project first. You can create a Blazor application using either Visual Studio 2019 or Visual Studio Code. In this video, I will create a server-side Blazor application using Visual Studio 2019. I have installed the .NET Core SDK 3.1.2. To follow along with this video, one should have a basic understanding of c -sharp, HTML and CSS. You can also watch a detailed video on Blazor and Syncfusion controls titled Create a Blazor Server App and Add Syncfusion Blazor Components which I have shared in the YouTube card. Now, let me create a Blazor project first. I select the Blazor App template, provide the project name My Blazor Server App and click Create. Here, the Blazor Server App was selected by default and I proceed by clicking the Create button. Now, Visual Studio has generated a Blazor server application. To use Syncfusion Blazor components, I need to install the Syncfusion Blazor NuGet package in my application. To do that, I open the NuGet package manager by right-clicking the project file and selecting Manage NuGet packages. Under the Browse tab, I search for the Syncfusion Blazor package. I select it and click the Install button. The installation is completed now. When you check the dependencies folder and the packages folder and you will find the Syncfusion Blazor package added to this application. Next, the Syncfusion Blazor service must be registered in the services container. For that, I open the startup.cs file and use the Syncfusion Blazor namespace. Within the configure services method, I make a call to the add Syncfusion Blazor method. This makes Syncfusion Blazor services available within the application. Next, I must register a valid Syncfusion license key. To do so, in the configure method, I call the Syncfusion licensing Syncfusion license provider static method register license. You also need to pass your Syncfusion license key as a string parameter in the register license method. I have done this off screen. Within the pages folder, open the host.cs HTML file. Within the head tag, add the required CSS file to render the Syncfusion Blazor components. In this example, I refer the CSS file from the installed Syncfusion Blazor package. Now, let me add the Syncfusion Blazor accordion to the index component by using the Syncfusion Blazor navigations namespace. Adding this namespace here allows me to use the accordion component markup. Also, I can import this namespace in the imports.razor page to make it available in all Razor components within this application. I remove the existing code and type the SF accordion tag and set the width to 500px. I add the accordion items tag to add items to the accordion component. I can add one or more accordion item tags. In this example, I add three tags with header and content properties. Now, I save the file and run the application. You can see the accordion with three items. I click the items header to expand that item and click the same header again to collapse that item. I can also click two items to expand them. You can also change this expand behavior using the expand mode property. Multiple is the default property. It allows you to expand multiple items at a time. The other mode is single, which allows only one item to be expanded at a time. To set it in the SF accordion tag, I add the expand mode property and set the value to expand mode dot single. I save the file and run the application. In the accordion, I click on the first item and it expands. Then I click the second item and it collapses the first item and expands the second item. Now, let me show you how to customize the Blazor accordion UI using templates. I will show you 
how to customize the header and content of the accordion component using header and content templates. To add templates in the accordion items tag, I remove these three tags for clarity. I add an accordion item tag and within it, I add a header template and content template tags. In the header template tag, I add a div tag and add the content as Margaret Peacock. And in the content template tag, I add a div tag and set the class as container. To the div tag, I add an image tag and set its src with an image. I add a div tag and set its class as content. To the div tag, I add the content about the person, Margaret Peacock. Now I add the same header and content templates for two other persons. I add styles for the image tag and for those classes, container and content. Now I save the file and run the application. You can see the accordion with three items. Expanding the first item shows the content with an image and text. If you need more information about the Syncfusion Blazor accordion component, you can refer to our online documentation. A link is provided in the description of this video. Finally, let me summarize the main points. I have explained the steps to create a Blazor application and add the Syncfusion Blazor package. Then I showed you how to add the Syncfusion Blazor accordion component to the Blazor server application. Finally, I explained how to add the prominent features to it like expand modes and customizing the accordion UI using templates. You can download this working example from the GitHub link in the video description below. You can also see about getting a free license key to use our Blazor products if you are eligible for our community license. If you found this video useful, click the like button and subscribe to our channel to get notifications about new videos. Thanks for watching.